She love a nigga for solid. So you, so you still with me, my daughter. Breaking up like Benny Hanna. I just wish you knew my mama. We not gon' flex the design. All right, so how's it going today, everybody? So today, I am introducing a podcast-like thing where I just talk and watch gameplay or you just listen. Um, today's the introduction of it. I'm going to post whenever I feel like it, whether it's once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whenever. But uh, just whenever I feel like talking about anything. So basically, I'll be talking about whatever the hell I want. Whether it involves Legends, Dragon Ball as a whole, uh, probably not politics, but maybe politics, I don't know. Maybe other topics of discussion, just depends on what I find interesting at the time. But today I just want to say thanks to Akira Toriyama for giving all of us an outlet in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has been a huge part of my life personally. Like, from a kid, watching Dragon Ball Z on, uh, not Funimation, um, Cartoon Network. I guess it was Funimation. <coughs> but, yeah, uh, it sucks he died. But it's a good thing that he had a protege because we need more Dragon Ball. And hopefully the anime comes back. But, yeah. Sucks. Whatever. Moving on. Rip. Other than that, uh, let's see what else is new. I plan to upload more on this channel. I just, my brother was here for two weeks, so I didn't really get to stream much or anything. Um, I do stream quite a bit. Well, I used to stream quite a bit. I don't really stream that much right now. But basically, I've just made a schedule to wherever the fuck I feel like doing. I just do it. Um... Let's talk about Legends a little bit. The meta in Legends right now is kind of weird. Because usually the Ultra units overtake the, um, the new LFs. And Gohan did not overtake Super 17. Not by a long stretch. You'll see in the video... I have issues with Super 17, but not Gohan, for the most part. I do still have some issues with Gohan, because, uh, at the, I mean, it's Gohan, like, he does everything, he counters, he, I don't know, he does literally everything you can think of. So, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the meta, because it's kind of boring. We had such a diverse meta with with Beast Han, Evoken, UI, and before UI we had we had Janemba. Um, for ever since the last Annie, the fifth Annie, uh, we've had such a diverse meta. But now we're back down to basically three units. Baby, well, Baby's not even really in the meta. I faced him like once, which is kind of weird. Because I know Super 17's red and Baby's yellow, which in my opinion they fucked that up. Because Baby needed the premium unit more than Super 17 did. Because we have, granted he's from a Super Ball, or Super Ball, Dragon Ball Super, but we do have the 17 that's still being used on whatever. I'm sure it's still not a good. I'm, he's not really good anymore. He's like, Future Han, if you use him right, you can win. Like, I still win with Future Han, but most people say he sucks, which he, he's aged. Let's put, let's put it that way. 17 has aged. But his support's still godly. <clears throat> and uh, that's what matters. Because, well, you need support in this game. And Pan, with when Pan released, that was evident because between Future Han and Pan, they were juicing the shit out of Beast. But basically, I don't know how to feel about the meta because 
we have Gohan, we have Super 17, and we have Cell right now being used in a red, red, green setup. And there's no good purples, hardly. There's barely any good yellows. And there's good blues, but not nearly enough good blues. Really, the only blue that I can think of that that shouldn't have a problem with 17 is Goku and Bardock. And uh, there's the problem is there's not enough purples or blues in the meta to, to counter the game. And plus, with Super 17, you need somebody to counter... You need a strike-based unit, basically. But if you have a strike-based unit, then... Gohan counters the strike cards. Super 17 is Swords of Blast cards. And if you run baby <laughs> with those two, you you're you just can't attack. It's kind of boring. So, in my opinion, we need more diversity. And, uh... I don't know. Maybe we'll get more diversity soon, but don't hold your breath. Because basically, Super 17 is going to run the game probably for until April when we get a new unit a couple months before the Annie, which we usually do around April or May. Then the Annie comes out and they become useless. Which, that's expected. Because power creep in this game is fucking atrocious. They can't keep anything going. But other than that, let's see what else is new. Uh, I got my floor done today. Got some new flooring put in. Like I said, my brother came down. We spent two weeks with him. Uh, my dad's getting sick. Or my dad's sick, so that's not good. And my kids... My, it's going to be hard if we lose my dad with my kids because they love their grandpa. Um, <clears throat> but my kids, my son just turned five. Uh, my daughter's going to turn three in May. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't know what to think about this game anymore. But it's not even just the game. It's Dragon Ball as a whole. I just can't wait for Sparking Zero, which that game looks fun as fuck. I'm not going to lie. I am waiting for Sparking Zero. You guys are going to see a shitload of content from Sparking Zero on this channel. Let me know down in the comment sections below if anybody even watches this. I don't know. It's just me rambling. But I am having fun, so whatever. Let me know in the comment section below who you're excited to see and who you hope is in Sparking Zero. Me, personally, you know what I'm going to say, Future Han, because he wasn't in uh, Fighters for some reason. When, in my opinion, he should have been, because he's still a major part of the series. Without him, Trunks wouldn't have gone Super Saiyan and defeated the androids, even though he defeated the androids when he went into the future and came back. But without that initial burst, he wouldn't have had... The power to defeat Frieza, give Goku the heart virus pill. It's just uh, an effect. <coughs> it's a... Uh, uh, I can't think of the word. It's, it's like a towering effect. So Future Han needs to be in it. I'm kind of excited to see if Baby's in it. Super Baby 2. Uh, I don't know if GT units are going to be in it or not, though. I feel like they may not. Omega would be cool. I don't know. I just... As much as I love Dragon Ball Super, I don't just want Dragon Ball Super teams. You know? Characters. Whatever. I want the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Don't want Killer Khalifa because I hate those characters. And I don't hate them for the same reason. Well, they got the back. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care that they became Super Saiyans by tingling their back. <clears throat> I hate them because Sadala, I just don't like Sadala as a whole. It's just Planet Vegeta pussified. You know? But Super 17, he could be in it. That would be fun. So it gives you a different mechanic. 
I haven't played the Tenkaichi series in years, though, since the PS2 came out. Or, since it was on PS2. That's how old I am. I remember the PS2. Which, I'm sure other people do too, just... There's a lot of Zoomers out there. Yeah, fucking Zoomers. But yeah, um... <clears throat> I don't know. What topics should we cover in next episode? Leave some comments down below. Give me some ideas, because... <clears throat> there are some things that I want to talk about, like... What would you guys like to see on this channel that I don't already do? Do you want me to return to my series, uh, Randomized PvP? Because I've been thinking about it until I finish every tag in the game. And even then, I may redo it just because there's so many new tags, so many new characters, you know. I want to see what the randomness is. What would you guys... Would you guys like to see some skits or some real life content? Because I can do vlogs and stuff. I kind of live a boring ass life though, so I don't know when I would ever do a vlog. Maybe when I'm buying Pokemon cards or something. But that's for my Pokemon channel. By the way, I have a Pokemon channel. It's called Bats Collects. I'll leave the link in the description if I remember to. I also have a real life comedy channel that I never post on because I just don't have time or with my uh, mental problems I don't really have the ability to upload to that channel because I can't quite think and retain information and that's kind of why I'm rambling but let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys some facts about me uh, let's see, I like wrestling, I like NASCAR, I obviously like video games, I like Dragon Ball, God of War is my favorite series of all time, uh, I, didn't, I don't know, I love Ragnarok, and the other one before Ragnarok, but the OG God of War is my favorite. I think that's the best God of War. When he was in, um, shit, what was he in? Olympus. There, there, Olympus, fuck. I don't know why I couldn't think about that. And yes, I'm gonna, so my schedule, here's what my schedule's gonna look like. Starting next week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm gonna be streaming from... 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. Mountain Time till about 3 or 4 p.m. Mountain Time. So adjust accordingly based on your uh, time zone if you want to catch them. I'm going to upload twice a week, whether it's a short or a regular video. I may just start cutting up my streams and posting them. I think that would be pretty cool to do. <coughs> but other than that, I don't really have much else to say, so we're going to end it here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next episode. Remember to leave a comment on on what you want to see on this channel, on what I should do, what you want me to cover, what topics you want me to cover. Uh, let's see, there was another thing, too. I want you guys to give me some idea names for a podcast. Because... Like I said, this is kind of like a podcast type thing where I rant or whatever. Just hang out, just talk, you guys listen, or do whatever you want. Watch the video, watch the gameplay, because there will always be gameplay. Just so you guys have something to do while you listen to me ramble. So to recap, let's see. Rip to Akira Toriyama, he was a good man. Brought all of us together in this space. Without him, Dragon Ball wouldn't have existed. <coughs> uh, let's see. Then we talked about Legends. The meta is in a rough place right now. I still use an old-ass team. You guys will see that in the video. My my future team, the old, the newest unit is UVB, and he's about a year old. 
So, yeah. My my team needs some help. Please, Legends, give some future buffs. Please. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a good one. Peace.